the tournament starts then. I want to join on for the tail end of a tournament. So let's see if I can score a point or two. That's a fun opening. It, that's a pretty standard opening trap, by the way. Um, so that's one of those that you all should learn, know, and or discover at some point. And as is with most opening traps, everybody falls for it at least once. And that's why so um, and if you don't learn it you'll fall for it more than once really um, Now we're going for the good old Knight C7 fork. Never see it coming. Or he might play Rook B8 and then we'll trade pawns and I made him. That could happen too. Or if I could like teleport a rook to e1 and bring in knight d6, that would be fun. But most likely I'm just going to castle queenside and threaten queen d8 and maybe, maybe get a win. Oh, sound check. Yep, sound still works. Cool. Oh, right. Um, I'm not continuing from a streak because I lost a game due to disconnection. But catching up with the tournament leader is actually not feasible. Uh, oh, it looks like my connection's starting to drop again. Maybe I need to turn down the FPS settings. Sound check. Well, I might take first after all. Oh, I got paired with him again. That's precious. I 
At least I think it's the same player. Wow. Oh. I don't get bonus points for that kind of behavior. Interesting. That makes sense. Just fascinated by it. Okay, so I'm just up a bishop. And I'm still going. Still haven't lost my stream. Despite many, many warnings to the contrary here. Stream hasn't yet died. Could go at any moment. I need to figure out what that's about. Maybe I just need to increase my buffer time. That might reduce the risk of um, dropping packets and stuff. Check. Oh, this is cool. I was just going to play rookie too. That looks cool. I couldn't turn down the opportunity to do that. Yeah, apparently you don't get points for berserking against an opponent who just forfeits on move one. Makes sense. I mean, what kind of extra effort did you go through other than putting yourself at risk? And at that point, you're practically gambling that your opponents just um, throw in the towel or disconnect or what have you. So, yeah, this is a French, but this is not your normal French. This is anything but a normal French. And there goes my D pawn. 
or not. What do I do here? How does I just develop? No sense in um, getting too reactive to the fact that I'm now down upon. sensible looking moves and hope that there's some counterplay for that pawn. Try to have some fun this way. Looks horribly unsound and yet incredibly fun. Um, if I could just vacate some lines on that side of the board, we'd uh, have something going here. Okay, so I could maybe I want to do rook d7, but there's no way that I could pull that off. Or no way that I can compel that to happen anyhow. Starting to target f6 instead. But f6 itself is pretty strong, too. Um... That bears significant threats. It can only be met by sacrifices. Aha! Fantastic. Well, on that note, let's play one more game. And um, yeah, these Super Blitz arenas are fun. After all this, we're going to have to analyze that game to figure out exactly what went right and what went wrong. That game is just too interesting to pass up and do nothing about. Okay, so here I am playing a Vienna. Um, and I'm supposed to do these kind of things. Now I'm completely confused. Okay, I take a piece, you take a piece, I take a piece, right? I'm missing something. Alright, we open the center. Okay, not a bad result at all. Um, I wonder if um, the trophy that says percent berserked will include the games that I've won due to no moves being played. I would suspect that um, those would count neither for nor against that percentage. So I'd expect a score of 0% berserked. Um, 
Only because I got no berserking points. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Yeah. Wait. This guy took third. Oh, that's not the guy I got paired with twice in a row. Never mind. Yeah, 91% win rate. That win rate would have been higher if I didn't disconnect in the middle of the tournament. But hey. Um, now, where was that interesting game that we played? Um, that was this one, right? Against S-P-A-H-I-C. Oh, oh, we have a computer analysis. Fantastic. Roll back up. Yes. So, yeah, at this point I'm struggling to hold on. So I must have bungled this earlier. Well, okay. Stockfish doesn't like my handling of the French. So, yeah, knight takes e4 is outright bad on account of losing the d-pawn. Now granted I get some play for that lost pawn, especially uh, after f6, which just opens wide the king side. Okay, yeah, technically rook d6 is better, but I mean, who's keeping score? Knight f6 right away. I did consider this, and I rejected it because it looked ridiculous. Oh, tempo. But wait. Okay, rook e7 loses the rook. There's no defending across the 7th, so... Uh, yeah, I get a perpetual check. That's how I should have proceeded, is sack the knight. Um, and then get my rooks out for a perpetual check. And uh, the key point here, I guess, is that king h8, which is what I was looking at, somehow doesn't work. Are you kidding me? So we sack the rook, and there's no stopping the mate. That is pretty fantastic. Okay, so queen c7 stops all those shenanigans and points out the fact that I missed knight f6. But whatever. Also, it, he had to move the queen because I kicked the queen. So I check. Now I'm trying to smash through on f6, but I've made this task so much more difficult for myself. Meanwhile, black still hasn't developed the rooks, hasn't made any threats on my king, and just allows me to assume all aggression. Um... Best move here is rook d7. So. Okay, it's the same thing as what happened, um, but doesn't allow knight takes h5. Oh. This isn't so good for me. But I have three pieces attacking that square. But, uh, yeah, that attack on the square doesn't matter as long as the queens get traded. Oh, boy. Boy. So then king h1 is a mistake. Should have played king f1, and then we would have gotten something very similar to the game continuation. Oh, except my king's position to take the e-pawn in the center, and he can't fork me and can't win my b-pawn, and this is just very winning for white. My king centralized. And, yeah, had he actually, like, paid attention... And I thought this was such a better game than it was. But, yeah, had he taken the knight... Oh, all I have is just a draw. Yeah, somehow I thought between having both rooks attacking the king 
threatening the queen, and so on and so forth, that I would be able to win this. Uh, Stockfish is far less optimistic about this position than I was. Um, yeah, I don't have time to formulate a mating threat. For example, if I take the queen, there's knight f5, and now I'm just down a knight. Now, if somehow I could force... well... Yeah, supposing that we had this position and I could force this, which I can't force because you could just take it with the queen, but if I could force my way into this, um, he'd be compelled to stop the mate. I probably still have only a perpetual here because check, check, or threatening mate, um, check, threatening mate again. Oh, but I can't take the knight. So all I'd have is a perpetual in any event. Um, yeah. This has been a successful test stream. I have to try it again at some point. Trying some more streaming settings. Um, check out my... Uh, whatever they call a clip on this site. I'll make sure that everything works right, and then maybe ask, uh, ask the Leech Us staff if they feel like highlighting this stream or not. That's totally up to them. But anyway, it's been fun, and um, if you are watching, thanks for watching. <laughs>